So in this episode of Sip and Tally Presents Ravens Roundup, we're going to talk about the DBs. We're going to talk about the corners, uh, a little bit of uh, a play or two from uh, safety. I think we've got a play in here with Earl, that Earl is involved. And basically just get down and see what those guys did to, to help us win this game and to kind of shut down, lock it, DK Metcalf and, uh, and Brown and Russell Wilson. So the first play we're going to start off with here. See what it says. I think this is DK and, and Avery. At the top of your screen. One on one matchup. Okay, no. okay, I'm sorry. Let me start over. Let me start over. Let me start over. Okay, in this episode of Sip the Talent Presents Ravens Roundup, we're going to talk about the cornerbacks. And um, I want to focus on them because they did a good job of locking down, for the most part, DK Metcalf, uh, Tyler Lockett. And um, Brown and kind of defending Russell Wilson and the things he likes to do. And also their their tight end, uh, I think his name is Wilson also. Uh, this first play is going to be uh, DK versus uh, Hunt. They're right here in the slot. Let's focus on Hunt and his technique. Man to man, cover one. DK tries to slow play him and pull him back. And I'll kind of show you that. And you get a good breakup by uh, Marlon. Let me bag it up and let's talk about it a little bit. All right, you see DK comes off. He's really just slow playing it, not really trying to run a route. He wants to get get, get Marlon's hand out there so he can pull him by and go. So with this play action going on right here, Marlon is looking in the backfield. So DK is really just trying to lower him to sleep and then throw him by and be wide open. But Marlon doesn't go for it. He looks in the backfield for a little while. He's still looking. He's still looking. And now when he feels that pressure, his eyes go straight to DK and turn and run. Turn and run. In phase the whole time. In phase mean hip to hip. In phase the whole time. Now, ball's coming. The key thing right here, which probably would have been pass interference, he got his head around right there. And I know it's kind of probably kind of hard for you guys to see. But Marlon gets his head around right there. And to me, that negates the pass interference because both of them going for the ball. And you got Earl coming coming late. Got Earl coming late. And I think Earl probably could should have been here early because he has no real threat to the bottom of the screen. Other than, than Lockett coming in motion. But still, a good job of playing cover one by uh, Humphreys, one of the, the best up-and-coming safeties, I'm sorry, corners in the league. Let's go on to play two. Let it run through. And just a back view of him, you know, in phase right here. Now, watch him get his head turned to the last minute. Right there. That saved the P.I. Turn your head at the last minute. That little turn right there saved the P.I. And he almost caught the ball. Luckily. See, he looking around for a flag because he knows it's close. He knew it was close. That's why he was looking around for a flag. This next play right here is, um, I want to say Lockett and Humphreys. No, it's not. This is not Lockett. This is the play, the double move. So let's check it out down. This is Avery. And DK. Avery and DK. And all these plays, I didn't show all the good plays. I didn't want to make it seem like it was all positive. Our corners play lights out. So this play right here, Avery falls for the double move. DK puts his head down because everybody knows he can run. Oh, he just just little one-two. He did a little one-two with no real move. Avery bit on it. One-two. And it was over with. He even, Avery didn't have a penalty on this play. No real move by DK. So I, I think Avery just waiting on waiting for something to go in and out. To jump, he waiting for something to go in and out, and he kind of stutters and gets off balance. Look, he's falling over his heels to go break on something that's not there. And DK gets a big catch, and he gets PI. So even if he don't catch it, they still got 15 yards. Maybe it's um illegal touching or something like that without that penalty. Like I know it's not PI, but still, not even a real double move, just a little one-two and go. But you know, I, I get uh, DK's props on now. He had a good move. Avery going to make up for it, though. Right here on this play right here. Here they are right at the top. Singled up. They didn't put the help over there inside the red zone, which we know DK is a threat in the red zone. Let's let it run through first. Snap the ball. Tries to give him a little one-two move. 
Now, what Everett does is, this turns into a two versus one. And I'm going to tell you why this is a two versus one. Uh, one receiver, two defenders. This white line up here right here, that's a defender also. And Everett uses that to his advantage. Everett's the inside. So basically, he's using the sideline to bracket DK Metcalf. And this is the same little move if you watch my uh, draft video with DK Metcalf. He was trying to get Greedy Williams on and never did. Same little fake inside move and then just try to outrun people. Nobody beat on that. He went He went nowhere. Avery's right in phase. Now Avery just phase him to the sideline. Phase him to the sideline. Phase him to the sideline. Now you see with every yard DK gains, he gets close to that sideline. So he's right below the numbers now at the 17-yard line. Now he's right inside the numbers a little closer. At the 10, a little closer. At the 5, a little closer. At the goal line, right on right on the out-of-bounds line. Great job of using the sideline, Avery. And getting your head around the last minute. Great job. Great defensive play. All right, this next one. This is this is Lockett's touchdown. Now, let me let that run through. Holding. Holding again. Touchdown. <laughs> this is not one of... Hump's better plays. All right, this is this is Lockett here. This is Hump here. This is not one of his better plays, but you live and you learn. You live and you learn. Going in motion. Russ only did it to make sure it was man. Now you're going to put Lockett on the little corner route, which that little stutter gets Marlin to settle and get on his heels. And his best thing to do right now was grab because it would have been a touchdown from the jump. Been, but if he didn't grab him right there, Lockett has all this room to work. And this concept is one of my favorite concepts, too, as a coach. So now, the chemistry with Russell and Lockett is so great that he just throws this ball up because Marlon's back is turned. Kind of like um, Lamar did to Boykin early in the season. I think it was the first game against the Dolphins. The defender's back was turned. He just threw it up and let his guy make a play. And that's all he did. He threw it up. Marlon has no idea where the ball is or Lockett. Touchdown Lockett. That's a great play by Lockett. You live and you learn again. You can't win them all. Can't win them all. It's a great play by Jimmy. I mean, not Jimmy, uh, Earl. Great play by Earl. Great play by Earl. Earl and Brandon Carr versus, uh, I think th this is the Brown kid. All right, so here's Earl right here. Earl's trying to diagnose the play. It's cover one. Trying to diagnose the play. All right. Now, he noticed he got deep routes. Now he just turns around. He turned and running, trying to get on top of that post because he know. This guy's going outside, so he got to cover the inside part of that route. Look at him just sprint. Just sprint and get in the way. Sprint, all you got to do is throw his hands up without making contact or turn his head. He turns his head right there. No P.I. Great job of recognizing patterns. Great job of pattern matching and realizing what was going on, and I got to get to the middle of the field. Great job, because he knew he had help on the outside, so I just turned and run. And... Carl did a good job of taking away the outside, knowing that you can't get deep over, can't get deep behind me because I got a helper in the middle of the field. And he just ran into the helper. It's a great job of trusting each other. A great job of doing your own job and not overcompensating. Not overcompensating because if he gets inside, this cat right here, all he has to do is the same little move DK did. Step one inside, step two outside, and I know nobody can get there because he's behind him. But he did a good job of forcing him inside to his hill. Now, Earl was a little late. But he got on his horse and got there. Got on his horse and got there. Made made the throw and catch difficult. Good job. Good job. Now I think we're going to go to the safety here. Now these next two players are in session. Succession. I mean, they're back to back. So they try to little sneak the tight end over. Clark did a great job of covering that guy. Now, you'll see it better from the back view. This is Clark right here. They're going to try to little, little play action and roll his way. They try to sneak this guy across the field. Clark is looking in the backfield, but he does not let his man go, and he don't take the bait, basically. That commercial where the, the fisherman saying, y'all almost had it, he got it. Clark got it on this one. Great job of doing your job. His man blocking down, but he's still my man, and I'm going to run with him when he take off. Looking for the ball, cover him. Great job. I, I ain't much more I can say about that. This is a great job playing defense, a great disciplined defensive player. Great job. And then the very next play right here is Peter Sushdown. You get a little smash comes up at the bottom. 
China, 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 China. You wait, you wait. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Go on, see walking the sideline. West Coast boy with a touchdown on the West Coast. Safe. Now, this is why I got to go back to the black because I got demonetized for this part. But anyway, that's week seven, part two, the Ravens roundup. Uh, we focus on the cornerbacks and the safeties, the whole DB unit. Them guys, they won some battles. They lost some battles, but they won the war. They won the war. Uh, two defensive touchdowns. You saw Peter's touchdown. Um, Marlon picked up a fumble and returned it to the house later on to kind of put the game away. And them guys just played lights out. And our defensive unit is coming together. It's coming together. It's coming together with the additions of uh, Ward and, let's see, LJ Fort and, I know I'm forgetting the linebackers, Ward, Fort, and Vines. Then you picked up Peters. The defense is coming into shape. Jimmy should be back from um, his injury after this bye week. Uh, should get, who else? We should, we should be getting somebody else back too. Put it in the in the comment section. I know we're getting somebody else back after this bye week. But New England's coming up. And again, this is Coach Evans. Uh, Sip the Tatter presents Ravens Roundup. Week 7, Part 2. The DBs. And, and look for a lot of individual matchups coming with this bye week coming. So I appreciate you guys' support. We're up to uh, 2,100 subscribers. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend uh, to get on the train. And uh, remember, after all these Ravens victories, have your purple Kool-Aid ready. Oh, 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 oh,